Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In January 2020, the Indian government shortlisted two Indian shipyards and five foreign defense companies for its Project 75I which calls for the local construction of six conventional class submarines fitted with AIP system. The two local shipyards that were shortlisted are privately owned LNT Group and state owned MDL. The five foreign OEM which were shortlisted are Dow Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering DSME, now rebranded as Hanwha Ocean of South Korea, Navantia of Spain, Naval Group of France, Rubin Design Bureau of Russia, and TKMS of Germany. The Germans TKMS has signed Memorandum of Understanding with MDL in June 2023 for construction of submarines under Project 75I. As per the latest media report, the Spanish firm Nevencia has also submitted its bid for Project 75I. The last date to respond to the RFP for this project is August 2023. In October 2022, speaking to the new Indian Express, the Spanish ambassador to India has said that India is considering buying submarines and several countries including Spain are taking part in the tender. The Spain considers that Navantia's offer is very competitive in terms of quality, cost, transfer of technology and indigenization. Navantia would be in charge of providing to the Indian Navy with state-of-art conventional AIP submarines if the government of India considers the offer. On 28th February 2024, ABPV Live has reported that Spain is willing to go for complete transfer of AIP technology for its stealth submarines built by state-owned defense giant Navantia for the Indian Navy. It is also offering submarines at a much lower cost compared to Germany's TKMS, which is another key contender for the deal. In today's video, we'll explore the S80 plus capabilities which is being offered by Spain and we'll try to find out if it can fit into the Project 25i requirement of Indian Navy. The S80 plus is the latest class of submarine being built by Spanish shipbuilding company Nevencia. The submarine was designed in late 90s and was redesigned in mid-2010. Spain has planned to construct four submarines of this class with the lead vessel of this class S81 has already completed its first trial and initial sea trial in mid-2022. It is expected to enter service by 2023. The remaining submarines of this class that is S82, 83 and 84 will complete its construction and trials by 2027. S80 Plus, as claimed, is a highly automated submarine with state-of-art platform control system developed by Navantia System which allows it to be operated by a reduced crew of 32 sailors and 8 seats for boarding additional personnel capable of reaching a diving speed greater than 90 knots and a maximum depth of immersion greater than 300 meters. It is approximately 80 meter long and 7 meter in diameter and has a submerged displacement close to 3000 tons. The characteristic of this class of ship places them at a level close to those of nuclear propulsion. One of the major requirements of Project 25i, where Indian Navy is not ready to compromise, is proven AIP system. The S80 Plus is powered by 3200 kilowatt bioethanol engines, one 3500 kilowatt main electric engine and one 300 kilowatt AIP system. Its AIP is a third generation anaerobic AIP propulsion called BEST Bioethanol Stealth Technology which consists of bioethanol reformer to produce hydrogen which in turn react with oxygen in the fuel cell generating electricity. This system allows to extend autonomy of submarine in immersion up to three weeks at a submerged speed of four knots which substantially reduces its level of detectability. The IP system developed for submarine has completed its final test only in February 2020. Therefore, the first two submarines of this class, that is S81 and 82, is not fitted with AIP system and will be retrofitted during their first major overhaul, 
So technically, S-80 plus submarine is yet to have an operational AIP. The submarine incorporates a combat system developed by Navantia in collaboration with US company Lockheed Martin with ability unique among the conventional submarines with similar characteristic to launch tactical land attack missiles. In August last year, Navantia performed official combat system test on S-81. The submarine features six 533mm torpedo tubes which can fire DM-2A4 heavy torpedoes or UGM-84 Sea Harpoon Block 2 and UGM-109 Tomahawk cruise missile. The submarine is fitted with active and passive sonars with accurate electromagnetic detection system. The submarine can communicate via Link 11 and Link 22 data links. Now, interesting part. If we compare Calvary class submarine with S80+, there is no much significant difference which I can see in terms of capabilities. Both the boats are fitted with 6 533mm torpedo tube which can fire heavier torpedoes or anti-ship missiles or cruise missiles. Both the boats offer endurance close to 50 days. Calvary class has a range of 12,000 km at a speed of 8 knots when surfaced and 1020 km at 4 knots when submerged. S80 Plus has endurance of 8000 km. However, when we compare their size, S80 Plus is much bigger submarine than Calvary class with displacement close to 3200 ton when surfaced while Calvary class submarine has displacement of just 1615 tons. Having lesser displacement and smaller size. Calvary class submarine have smaller footprint overall. Further, Calvary class needs less powerful propulsion system which contributes for most of the acoustic sound which attracts torpedoes. Therefore, Calvary class seems to be much stealthier than S-80+. Both submarines are not having any operational fuel cell based AIP system which is primary requirement of Indian Navy. And these submarines will get it only after their first major overhaul. The first boat under Calvary class submarine is said to be retrofitted with DRDO's fuel cell based AIP in 2025. Therefore, in my opinion, Calvary class submarine is still a proven and a better choice for Indian Navy than S80+. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.